Welcome back, everyone. Today we're going to make a popular Thanksgiving side, perfect with your turkey if you're having it. It's cranberry sauce from scratch, homemade with real cranberries. Okay, so to begin, here's what you'll need to make this spiced cranberry sauce. Orange juice, fresh squeezed that is, orange zest, you'll need cloves, star anise, some ground ginger, brown sugar, white sugar, cranberries of course, a little bit of vanilla extract, water, and some cinnamon sticks. So we'll begin by pouring the water into a pot along with the cranberries and we'll go ahead and turn on the stove on medium to low heat so it can give those sugars a little bit of time to melt. So this is a really easy cranberry sauce recipe. All you do is throw in all of the ingredients in the pot and then you wanna cook it slowly over time and check on it periodically to make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom. If you find that your water is evaporating faster than you thought, you can go ahead and add a little bit more water, but only a little bit at a time. And I would add one part water with one part orange juice, if you see that happening. All right, so keep your stove on low heat and keep your cranberry sauce covered for the whole time while you cook it. If you love holiday scents, you will really enjoy this cranberry sauce because it has all of those spices and the aroma just fills up your entire house. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going back periodically and checking the cranberry sauce to make sure it's not sticking. And after about an hour or so, the cranberry sauce is done. All you'll need to do is give it a little bit of time to cool, unless you like your cranberry sauce warm, but just give it time to cool and that's it. Enjoy everyone, comment below, and please subscribe to my channel if you liked what you saw. Thank you so much for coming back to see another Thanksgiving side dish. I'll see you next time.